Hello and welcome to another Monday Mail and Magazines. This week the mail is the magazine or the magazine is the mail. However you want to kind of phrase that. But this is uh, an extension of Friday's episode where I showed off a large kind of stash ad video where I showed off all my kits. This week is uh, all the magazines I've kind of picked up over the last month or so. And just to show you that we've got plenty of Monday mails and magazines ahead of us and ready to go. Let's get into her. Uh, first off, we'll just throw out my shop card. Got plenty of these guys out there. I got a few stickers left as well. If you guys are in for trading, you can hit me up there at sodakmodelcars at gmail.com. I don't know if you can tell this, but I also am using some new lighting. So, so far it looks really good on my end. So you'll have to let me know how it looks out there in TV land. Of course, we got the final episode of the contest cars we got 30 some pages to get through that so this video might stretch on but uh we'll do our best we'll start off here on the right i picked up uh, a whole stack of hot rod this is the entire year of 1962 so we got plenty of there i don't know how much of that you guys want to look through but i will certainly show it off especially some of these ones that kind of relate to uh some of the kits in the the scale model world like this uh tony nancy 22 jr dragster that's out there in kit form uh we got something like this where we got pike's peak in full color some bonneville special coverage and then we got like the first report on the 63 corvette stingray and some other cool hot rods more hot rods it is hot rod magazine so there is that. Not a whole lot of scale model stuff, but there are some cars related. And over here, Rod and Custom, probably my favorite magazine. We got a good chunk of 1962 over here as well. And that gentleman on the cover, you know there's some good stuff inside. That is one kit I haven't gotten my hands on yet, but never say never. Here's a little shot. We got the Wild New Deuce. We got... We got cars and models, of course, in Rod and Custom. So it'll be a lot of cool stuff to look at there. Let me pull these off as we go. And up front and center, we got a whole big stack of model car science. I believe this is a lot of 63 and 64. We got quite a bit to go through there of model car science so there's plenty plenty of cool stuff to see in those issues and maybe we'll go back and forth i don't know we'll see how it goes and then just more of the real cool custom magazines out there definitely some recognizable cars there some real cool cool stuff starbirds predicta just all sorts of cool random custom car stuff the stuff that i love and would love to share with you guys but back to today's episode and that is, again is the final of the 2022 contest cars from fine scale modeler i should have probably broke this one up into quarters but again let's get after it starting up here i believe this is where we're at Roscoe Turner from Indiana, starting off with that 64 Lowrider, kind of read about that, I'm really liking this lighting, seems to highlight everything well, easy to read, should give you all some good detail, check out that very unique creature, kind of the moose or elk horns on it. Fantasy livery on the G GT1 or a tandem axle Land Rover 6x6. It's pretty cool. There we go, Mr. Throttle Power Tim Brown and his uh, 135th scale Steyr custom build. And we got a Maverick. There is rumors of this guy coming out from Mobius. Again, there's been a lot of rumors going around on the old Facebooks and interwebs. So we'll see what comes of each of them. 
little airport fire truck different I hope this comes across on video as well as it does in person the lighting sorry to be redundant about it but I really like the lighting's important for seeing stuff and that is definitely something to see right there that 36 Ford and I love I love lots of colors and custom painting but it really is hard to beat black it has so many characters to it be kind of stealthy or sexy or strong or it's a lot of character we got a lifted silverado kind of a pavement princess slash overlander very interesting this is the socal open from california A little speedy dozer. There is a Hot Wheels bug. Pro Touring Ford. Malco Gasser Mustang. Cool car. What a Rocket Bunny Subaru. That is sweet there. Old school 40 Ford. Box top tribute of the 60 release. That is cool, cool, cool. Got a 1 16th scale funny car. Those funny car guys can really do some crazy detail. A little Tom Daniel special. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this guy. Mr. BG, Brian. Sweet dump truck auto car. The NNL North, Bloomington, Minnesota, May 22nd, 2022. I got my fingers and toes crossed to make it to this one this year. Get to see some of these incredible builds in person. A little six by six. That is a cool car. Quad Allisons. That would be quite the sight to ever see. Those Mobius Nova Gassers. Very popular. Ferrari. Continuing on with the NNL North, we have a school bus shortened from the, the school bus Tom Daniel. Very cool. What a Toyota. Four door 66 Chevelle. Well, crew cab Chevelle. Very good looking car. 172nd scale Roden Oval Blitz Bus. 172nd scale, huh? Pretty cool. Hemi Thumb Thunder. A little Hemi Dart. A 90s NASCAR. Cool take on the Fury. A Viper V10 under the hood. Very cool. And here we got a Porsche. Roadster Porsche. Lots of detail. Still in the Inner Null North. A little Can Am Road America Diorama. 120th scale. Jeep Rubicon. Let a sedan turn into a pickup. Zoom on it up. 68 El Camino. Kind of a cool.
cool looking rig l88 hood i know there was a resin one of those out there at one point i would love to track down to replicate my brother's el camino with a 60 corvette in le mans trim very nice good colors for that car ferrari Classic 53 Ford. Just a nice clean build. Big old Peterbilt wrecker. Still under the NNO North. Lots of coverage. That's awesome. Little Grandpa's barn find. all of his knickknacks got some girls up on the wall got some bottles very cool a little v8 midget corvette racer got a 55 210 sedan cool color combo very, very standard of the time. Got a good looking cornet. Very clean. Check out the detail under there. Mr. Steve Guthmiller's. Awesome work. Nice looking petty bird. Ooh, there we go. 59 Brookwood Wagon. That's cool. Red Bull IndyCar. Formula. Still under NNL North. Kenneth Armstrong. Mobius Catalina. Fully decked out. Modern engine, modern wheels, lowrider. Got all the things. What a 66 Suburban. Very nice color on there. 32 Vicky up as a gasser. That's pretty cool looking. A black 56. Another one of those that. You do black right, it looks awesome. Look at that. Kind of this wild, wild machine. Start off here. The engine detail. Got all the red and blue going on. Quite the involved machine that's for sure very cool uh, junior category get a 68 chevelle pretty cool very colorful 66 park lane leds illuminate the dash dome light under the rockers very cool and then there's this diorama Check that out. That's pretty cool. Finished in grayscale to depict a scene from a 58 Robert Mitchum feature, Thunder Road. I believe you can find that movie pretty easily on YouTube here. So if you want to see it, check it out. But very cool diorama. I believe I have it in one of my playlists. And here we have Cobra. Again, still from the NNL North. Uh, under the hood 66 pro street nova very classic 40 ford very nice color choice a couple of 12 scale rockets we got here 
forward flatbed. A little lumber on there. A little used, but not beat up. There we go. Oh, Fireball Roberts NASCAR. That's a cool one. 71 GTX. Fifty-three Vic into a Ford Custom NASCAR. That is cool looking, especially that window treatment. Got kind of some rivet detail, blocked off grill. Cool looking build. And still in the NNL North. A little classic Ford pickup with some scallops. Got some color going on underneath. Tried carb under the hood. Very cool. Another one of those Mobius gassers. Love the color. That electric pink from Testers is just a right on pink for me. 34 Ford Fenderless. That is wicked cool. Color looks great on there. Oops. We got a 62 Ford Phantom Starliner. That is pretty neat. Well done, sir. Well, 56 Chevy Stalker with the candy stripes on the roof. Too cool. And we got a racer. Martini Porsche. Richard Petty's Buick. Ryan Chatlain says he painted it because of his daughter. Transformer decals. 44 to Hot Rod. Kind of that dark British racing green. Pretty nice. We got a 64 Max Wedge. That's cool. Aiden Prophet. Cool. Cool. Now moving on to Southlands in Florida. May 14th of 2022. Check that guy out. Cadillac Camper. I've seen quite a few of these like real car conversions or whatever. Cadillacs and big Buicks. Very cool. Love to see one in person. Great work, sir. This one's pretty far out there. A little alien dragster thingamajiggy. And here we have a attack of the killer eggplant. Very cool. And just notice those. Stacks are purple. Hope that for a chopped up Chevy Wrecker. Very, very unique, that's for sure. 47 Chevy. Would love to get all those Galaxy 47 Chevys. Heard amazing things about them. Jaguar race car. A Ford race car. Is that a Supra? I think that's a Supra. Got a little Ford. Plastic Society of Dallas Fort Worth. May 21st of 2022. Cool little import. Kind of a, a lowrider pickup. Got the curb feelers and everything. Swamp cooler. And the yes, some co yellow custom chopper. Okay, here we got like a Beetle supercar. 
That's pretty cool. Old, uh, big old donk. Low rider pickup. 64 scale. And then low rider 55. And this wild thing, kind of a, almost a rat rod time attack car, very really interesting, kind of a popular build style. Turning on, we got a 68 Chevelle, Justin Hart, I think this one's on his shop card, his new one, hope to be getting one of those soon, quick peek at his detailing work incredible as always all the Buick Rivia up on blocks the Toyota van import tuner all the way 1 16th 57 custom Corvette With 32 of the straight six in it. Cool custom work. Love the roof bars, roof slats. Another one of those Galaxy 47 Chevys. Gorgeous build. GTR 64 scale. 116th 57 Thunderbird. Cool, cool paint job. Nice work, sir. A little bright yellow 69. Really nice color for that car. NNL West, Santa Clara, California. Starting her off with a C Cab Mac truck rail car thingy oh, we got a 57 Ford with a Chevy 409 that'll turn some purple 34 Ford a smoothed out smoothed out 50 Ford what do we got here? 43rd scale Morgan Arrow. That is unique and cool. Well done. A 40 Mercury. Uh, put a little bit of custom work done to her. Very cool. Another Mobius Gasser. Five twenty seven twin turbo. That's cool. The dream truck. That would be a cool build to do. Very cool, very cool. Here it is radial engine bike. One twelve scale. I've seen some features on this, very impressive, as well as the real bike. We got a little unique roadsters. Herbie, can't go wrong with a Herbie. Cool. A little Mad Max 73 Ford. The candy painted 53 Chevy. And the 57 Ford wagon. Good look. 116th scale. 
1906 locomobile. Nice antique. Little Ferrari Roadster. And another 47 Chevy fleet line. Audi R8. And we got a creature from the Black Ragoon. Rocking a speedboat. Definitely unique. Very imaginative. We have NNL West still. Little drag truck. Twin, oh, big turbo. Big single. S10. That's pretty cool looking. Well done. Martini bike. Little SRT Pro Stalker. Little candy faded Firebird or Trans Am. Pretty cool. Little Baja Bronco action. scale sweet old custom love the color chop top four big blown engine A couple more pages to go at the IPMS US National Convention Nebraska for July of 2022. We'll start off with a Fred Gibb, the Dick Harrell Camaro. That is wicked cool. Very nice. And we got a Jada. Jada kit with some decal work. Nice safari rally winner. Don Garlet's slingshot. Swamp Rat 6B. And how about a multi engine 1 8 Porsche Killer? That'll get some, get you going. 3 Indy car Mercedes Granddad's pickup Nice little diorama Rocket with a figure And here's another diorama out with the old, in with the new. Here we are, last page. A junior, a 14 year old. Building a charger. We got old school Porsche. 43rd scale Grand Prix car 41 Chevy So we're a late model That's cool Definitely something they could Bring a kit out I would think Late models and dirt cars All beat up hot rod Turbo straight 6 in it Roadrunner. And last but not least, we got the huge future liner. A very cool GM project and promotional vehicle. Done in scale is incredible. 
I'd love to see this thing. If you don't know what the Future Liner is, look it up. Check it out. Read about it real quick. Got a little shot inside there. Some posters, lathe. All cool, cool stuff. Cool way to end it. A little advertising from Gopher. And that'll do her. So if you made it to the end, again, thanks for watching. Look forward to uh, getting back to the vintage mags. And again, if you have any interest in a shop card, hit me up at sodakmodelcars at gmail.com or even Facebook, Sodak Model Cars, two words, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Let me know what you think of the lighting and how it worked out. I think it looked good from here. We'll see you next time.